day we've been waiting for as MMA fans for a long time. We've talked about the return of Conor McGregor. When is this thing going to happen? Well, we finally have a date. We have an event and we have an opponent and possibly a wait. We're going to get into all of this and more. And what do I think? Do I think this is true? What parts are true? What parts should we take serious? And it turns out we have some big news about UFC 300 and a fight confirmed about there. We're going to talk about all that and more. But first, I want to remind you guys hit the subscribe button, like, comment, and share. This is the first video of the new year, 2024. Happy 2024 to you guys. And last year was amazing. You guys showed a ton of support, gained a lot of fans, gained a lot of new subscribers, and so many people on the channel. So I can't help but thank you guys enough. But if you guys want to continue the support, just hit the subscribe button, you know, hit the like button and comment for the algorithm. And let's get into this. Conor McGregor, you know, we don't even need a recap, right? Conor McGregor last fought Dustin Poirier about two years ago, broke his leg. And from there, we've all been talking about his return. Who is he going to fight next? So much speculation. And I think the number one choice for an opponent was Michael Chandler. Now, do I think this was the most exciting choice? No. I think it would have been a little more exciting to see Justin Gaethje in there, maybe even Dustin Poirier for a fourth time. They could have even done Masvidal if they decided to do it in the beginning of last year. Masvidal wasn't retired at that point. I think there was a lot of more exciting matchups, but in terms of what makes sense in the rankings, what makes sense in Conor McGregor's career, I think that this makes the most sense. Michael Chandler right now is kind of a gatekeeper in the lightweight division, right? We see guys like Poirier and Gaethje. They're able to beat him, not necessarily with ease, but we've seen other guys like Tony Ferguson and Dan Hooker fail to beat him. This is an important matchup for Conor McGregor, and obviously I covered the whole tough season every single Tuesday. I made a reaction to each episode, and overall, I just felt like there wasn't so much heat, man. I felt like if they would have had a better rival to Conor McGregor, it would have gotten a better Conor McGregor, a better rise out of him, making it more entertaining, making more noise and more hype, and making the event overall a bigger success. However, I do think that this is an interesting matchup. It truly is 50-50, but I do favor McGregor. I'm going to get into that at the end of the video and explain why, though. Conor McGregor announced a couple days ago that he would be announcing his opponent on January 1st, 2024, as well as the date. And not a lot of people took this serious, not even myself, but a day earlier, he decided to drop a bomb saying that he is going to fight Michael Chandler on June 29th, International Fight Week at Middleweight. Ladies and gentlemen, a happy new year to you all. I'd like to announce the return date for myself, the notorious Conor McGregor, for the greatest comeback of all time will take place in Las Vegas for International Fight Week on June the 29th. Come a little closer. And the opponent, Michael Chandler. And the weight, Mr. Chandler, 185 pounds. <laughs> Yes, that's right. He said 185 pounds. We're going to get into that if that's true or not. So obviously this comes to a shock to a lot of people, including myself. I would kind of thought that they would get the 300 thing kind of done. I thought it made the most sense. Like what's going to headline UFC 300? Well, we might actually have some news about that. Like I said, tune into the end of the video. I'm going to talk about that. But yeah, UFC 300, it turns out is off the table for McGregor. According to Ariel Hawani, McGregor really wanted it and tried to push for it. However, the UFC could not get it done. Now, a lot of people were like, June 29th is international fight week in July. Well, this is the first time it is going to be in June and it's based july just a couple days beforehand and i would assume that there's probably going to be two pay-per-views in june just because there seems to be a large gap between the may pay-per-view and the june one so expect two that month the date seems to check out right it is confirmed international fight week so we know conor mcgregor isn't lying about that and the opponent i don't think there was ever really serious discussion of switching the opponent i know some people were like oh who is he gonna pick to me i had no doubt in my mind he was gonna fight michael chandler you guys don't realize before the ultimate fighter they actually had to sign a contract for the fight and i know of course those things can be broken those things aren't 100 percent but I don't think that there was ever a question. It's a good matchup, to be honest. In terms of rivalry, I don't think it is. But fight stylistically, I think it is. It's a fun fight. And let's get to the big talking point. 185. Is this true? Guys, I don't think so. I think this is a little Conor McGregor troll trying to troll Michael Chandler, trying to troll the audience. If I told you what weight it's going to be, 184. You want to do 185? <laughs> I'll do 185. You'll do what you're told. I'm going to pin you. Plus, McGregor has been noticeably slimming down. If you guys see how he started the Ultimate Fighter to now, he looks like perhaps he can cut to lightweight. Now, obviously, I can't tell his weight and everything, but he does look like that maybe he's heading towards the direction to get back in the lightweight division, which I overall think would be best for him. I don't think that he should try to fight at 185. I don't think he should try to fight at 185. I don't even think he should fight at 170. I think 155 is his home. Beat Chandler. and Maybe he gets a guy like Gaethje. Maybe he gets a guy like Poirier for a fourth time. Maybe Holloway if Holloway and Gaethje fight. You don't know. There's a lot of fun matchups in the lightweight division. 
division. I just think that welterweight, I mean, what is really competitive? I don't even think it benefits Conor McGregor to have it on 185 because Chandler is a big guy. He cuts a lot of weight for the lightweight division. Now, who do I think is going to win this matchup? I have predicted this fight multiple, multiple times, and I am sticking with my prediction of Conor McGregor. I think Conor McGregor will counter Michael Chandler, knock him out with one punch. Guys, I've done a video breaking this down. I'm going to probably leave it at the end of the video and put it on the screen. Check it out where I break down Michael Chandler's film, and I explain to you guys how Michael Chandler is in some serious, serious danger of Conor McGregor. I broke down also Conor McGregor's new training and all that. That was a good video. You guys should go check it out. But overall, I think Chandler does have the tools to beat Conor, right? I think the game plan is, look, wrestle early, keep it on the feet, mix it up, and then you'll potentially either catch Conor, gas him out, whatever it is. And I think that's the game plan, especially that Conor McGregor is coming off of such a vicious injury like breaking his leg. It's going to be interesting to see Conor McGregor's movement, how used to is he fighting with that leg. Another thing to consider is in that second Dustin Poirier fight, Conor McGregor was out for a year, and he claimed ring rust was a factor in him losing that fight. And now by the time we get to that date, it's going to be near three years off for Conor McGregor. It just sucks. I think they should have definitely tried to put him on UFC 300. I don't know what happened there. It would have been the perfect opportunity, the perfect card to put him there. And it looks like for UFC 300, we have some news because Leon Edwards confirmed to himself that he is going to be fighting on UFC 300, as well as Ariel Hawani reported that it is in the works and he is supposed to fight Bala Muhammad. Now, guys, I hope this is not the headliner, guys. I don't even think this should be on UFC 300. I think they should try to move it to May or something like that, put it in the UK and actually make it a cool event. However, I don't think most people want to see this fight. Leon Edwards' last performance was lackluster, to say the least. I mean, so was Colby's, but Jesus. Leon literally did not do anything. I thought that he'd be able to finish him if he pushed Colby going backwards, but it just seemed like he took minimal risk in the fight. It kind of put on like an Israel Adesanya type performance where just kicking the leg and things like that. It seemed to just easily give up that last round. It seemed to not care in round four. Round four was closer than people think. I'm not saying necessarily Colby won, but it was closer, and Leon should have had a little more urgency. And if he headlines UFC 300, I just see a massive pushback from the fans. Like, does anybody want to see him headline UFC 300? Let me know in the comment section below if you guys are interested, because I'm genuinely wondering. I think that there is a possibility we could see him headline and it'd be interesting, but it depends on the opponent, and Bilal Muhammad is not in, and neither is Shavkat for that matter. Maybe if Ian Gary fought Luke and they rushed him up the ladder, maybe that would be a cool UFC 300 main event because of their beef, because of the whole sparring thing, because of Ian Gary's hate that he's been getting. That maybe would have been a cool main event, but we're stuck with Bilal, and that's what Ara Hawani is reporting. Now, I will say I do not think that Leon Edwards and Bilal Muhammad will headline. I think that is a massive mistake, and I just don't see the point. My prediction is, due to everybody talking, here's what I think is going to happen. I made a video on Friday predicting Islam Makachev and what his schedule is going to look like. I think I figured it out with this missing piece. Saudi Arabia is, I believe, a week before UFC 299 or something like that. I think that card will have Charles Oliveira and Islam Makachev rematch for the belt. And then I think we're going to see a UFC 300 headlining the event. I think we're going to see Justin Gaethje fight Max Holloway for the BMF belt. Max Holloway is a legend. Justin Gaethje is such an exciting fighter and arguably a legend himself. I think that it makes for a good UFC 300 main event, especially with Max Holloway. I mean, he's been around forever, you know what I mean? Like, Justin Gaethje has been around for a while, but not as long as Max Holloway. Max Holloway dates back, like, 10 years, you know what I mean? So, I think Max Holloway definitely deserves a spot at UFC 300, maybe the main event, and I think that's what you want. I think you want a fight bigger than just a title fight, bigger than just a stack card, maybe, like, a little meaning, you know what I mean? Like, Conor McGregor's a superstar, that would be the meaning. John Jones, you know, he's been around forever, that would be, you know, something special. Max Holloway is a guy that's been in the game for a long time, been with the UFC for a long time, so I think it makes sense, make that the main event, maybe as a co-main event, Leon Edwards and Bilal. Like, honestly, I think the card's going to be fun. Don't get me wrong. I'm just a little bit worried, a little bit sad that Connor will not be headlining. I thought that would have been perfect. And maybe we could have actually seen an active year from Connor. Maybe that he actually fights twice this year. And as for Chandler, I think he's going to lose to McGregor. Keep in mind now, he has had a massive layoff as well. So now the activity isn't really in the favor of Chandler because they've both been inactive. So I do think that this is going to work for Connor McGregor. I think he's going to win. And if you guys want to hear my full breakdown talking about why I think Connor McGregor is going to be Michael Chandler, click on the screen. It's a full video breaking down his training. It's actually pretty in depth, and I think you guys should go check it out. I compare Michael Chandler footage, I compare Conor McGregor footage. Go check it out. Thank you guys for watching, guys. The best fan base in MMA, and I'll see you guys in the next one.